That is crusty. All right, day two in Florida, specifically the Orlando area. And uh, I'm feeling a bit short changed today because yesterday I was supposed to win a free t-shirt and the restaurant was out of free t-shirts. So today I picked somewhere that I know for certain is supposed to give you a free t-shirt if you win. That doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna have the free t-shirts, but um, fingers crossed. Who's gonna? Here we are, the Rocky Pub. Rock Pub? Rocky Pub? I have to say, it does look more like a bar than a pub to me. And as an Englishman, I feel well qualified to make the judgment. Yeah, this is the one. So I was just wondering if it'd be okay if I could order the Burger Challenge and just maybe set up over there or something. Yeah, that's is that fine. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Great, awesome, thank All you. All right, so Burger Challenge it is, huh? Yes, All please. Right. Pretty quiet in here to say this is a sports themed pub. I'm assuming the uh, the game is on TV is quite important. Some kind of gridiron. I'm not going to pretend to know what it is. And this is it. The half barrel burger challenge. This is the uh, the wall of fame here. I'm not sure what the trophies are all about. I don't think you get one of those if you win. Just a t-shirt. All right. So you said you had some tips. Yes. Point so, for me. Okay. so so here, well, here are the rules and then some tips for okay. you. So you have 20 minutes from the start of your first bike. Right. I would highly recommend that you uh, maybe dismantle a little bit because it will be very hot on the inside. Right, okay. Um, it is a little misleading when it cools off on the outside just because of the, the stacking. It will be very warm on the inside. All right. Because um, once you start, you can't stop. Okay. So um, I would suggest maybe you know letting it cool down a little bit before you start. Uh, you said 20 minutes? 20 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes, and if you win, you get a t-shirt? Yes. Open it up just to make sure. Oh yeah. Not oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to burn myself, I don't think, but, um, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's down there, but it's, I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave everything on top of each other. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode, day number two in Florida today, and I'm taking on this thing called the Half Barrel Burger Challenge. Oh, oh. I feel like I'm full more. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this one's a bit of a catastrophe. If you watch frequently, you'll know. I have a bit of a bad habit of jumping the gun, getting started before the food has had a chance to cool down, and this is no exception, but I'm gonna blame my good old fashioned British sense of gallantry, because the reason for that is <laughs> there was one bar lady working, right? And I didn't want to monopolize the time by taking too long to get started. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure she wouldn't have minded, but um, there seemed to be some kind of reasonably important NFL playoff game on TV. Lots of dudes intently watching with grave looks on their faces. I, I should say that I, I did expect a little bit more noise. It was deathly quiet. I suppose I come from the, the land of football hooliganism though, so I tend to expect more boisterousness while watching sports in a bar. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. <laughs> I'm doing the uh, the half barrel burger challenge at the Rock Pub or Rock A Pub. <laughs> Never really did figure out how to say it. And then uh, you get 20 minutes to finish everything you see in front of you. If you do it, you win a t-shirt. There's still steam coming off it. I don't know how long it stays this hot. Yeah, they call that thermodynamics, matey boy. Although I suppose at least it makes the video a little bit more interesting because on the surface, 20 minutes to eat a burger this big is not that complicated. Just a big bowl of beef left. Yeah, I suppose that was inevitable, given the bun to filling ratio. You get six Angus beef burgers on this, 12 slices of bacon, 12 slices of cheese, some fixings on top. It's accompanied by some crisps and a pickle. I suppose uh, crisps makes a bit of a change from fries. Just a crisp left now. Trying to figure out what flavour the crisps are. I think it could have been a medley. I never really did pin the flavour down. It did make it interesting though, because I mean, like, crisps are technically more difficult to eat than fries. I still haven't figured out what flavour the crisps are. Something meaty. Yeah, meat flavoured crisps. I think that's about as specific as we're going to get. Oh, potato chips! In case any Americans watching about to get mad and start typing in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good one. It's been attempted apparently from what the barmaid told me multiple hundred times and only 15, 16 people have managed to do it. You don't actually get this free if you win, but you do get a free t-shirt. That's what counts. 
Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. My mouth hurts now. So I suck it up though. Can't give the British a bad reputation. I mean, you can't really give British people a worse reputation in America, given the country's history. Still, I'm trying not to show weakness. Bro, I should have. Oh. I should have let it cool more. <laughs> yeah. Finally, I, I got my T-shirt. That's a good one. I like that. Bring ice cream in that fridge. Could I? Is it like an ice cream bar or something? I'm after this. That hits the spot. We don't need appetizers like that. We need oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>